Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new relaunched Hangover. Uh, got some new graphics. Got some new direction. I think I know what I'm going to do with this uh, this blog or vlog. Um, as uh, probably a lot of you know, and if you tuned into the show, uh, last night uh, was kind of an interesting opening segment uh, where I basically went off on a lot of... Um, Kind of a lot of the shit that's been going on in the community. And I'll give you some background. Uh, I am a uh, uh, I'm a wrestling fan. I've been watching wrestling since I was a kid, and I can't watch it anymore. Like most people my age, you, you kind of grow out of it. And those who still do like it um, tend to follow it more for the backstage politics than the actual storylines, which are usually very very badly written at this point. Um, and I'm kind of feeling the same thing as getting to the point within this community. Last night I had a, a little bit of a rant on uh, Cosmic Disclosure, Corey Good, and uh, Wilcox. So, for a couple reasons. For anybody who knows me, you know that I don't deal with shit. I don't um, deal, or if I do, I don't deal with it for long. I speak my mind. It's kind of how this entire show uh, got to where it is. And... Yeah, there's just been a lot of shit going around since Contact in the Desert, and as you know, I know a few people who uh, are involved, and I've kept my mouth shut long enough, and it mo has mostly been <laughs> because, well, I really respect these people, or this person individual, um, and I know that when it comes to Wilcock, when it comes to Corey Good, he's friends with them, so again... Uh, any anything I say or critique is not against uh, him uh, as a professional, as a as a host, or uh, you know, it's just a guy himself. I know that he's got to pay the bills, and he's uh, an entertainer first and foremost. Um, but he's part of an industry that, uh, well, let's let's just say, is uses professional wrestling uh, mo to who kind of make money um, in a lot of ways. And you know, I'm I'm not part of a network. I'm not part of a uh, group, as it were, probably at the point I'm starting to form my own, but I just can't, uh, I just, I just can't keep my mouth shut. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't, you know, wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and keep wondering if I can keep doing this show, uh, in general, keep this channel going, kind of playing the game as it were, cause I'm not one of the big boys. I'm not somebody who's making a shit ton of money off of ad revenue. Um, we're not making millions of dollars off of uh, subscriptions um pfft. so i got i got nothing really to say on um i've got nothing really that i can i can say towards you know being beholden to anything i don't have a boss for this um so as far as the way that I, and as you do know i'm also a <laughs> i'm also a I'm in advertising. Um, I know show business. I know how the industry works. I know how a show is put together. I know how a brand is crafted and I know how personality is crafted. Um, I work, I'm actually doing a, a seminar on, uh, on artist branding in about three hours from now, almost three hours from now. So I, I understand how this entire thing works top to bottom and, uh, being in advertising, I've also studied a lot of psychology, uh, when it comes to community building, quote unquote, or, <laughs> you know, some people can take that to an extre extreme and in terms of, um, you know, building a cult, for instance, uh, how people become followers, how people become invested in a brand. I under like, like this is something I've studied for, for years and know intimately. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to start right from the get go. And uh, just to be able to give you a short, you know, short and sweet, cause it, this is a lot easier than. This is a lot easier than than cutting it out of the, the last night's video. Uh, if you know, and uh, hey, Craig, welcome to chat. I know that you saw me online. Uh, I'm, so, it, for any, you know, anybody who watched the show, you know that I got you. I ranted on on Corey Good and this whole cosmic disclosure bullshit. Uh, essentially, uh, he's claiming to be <laughs> some kind of space Jesus with uh, some blue aliens, and he's the chosen one to release this information. What you don't know is about four years ago, he was just some guy working at a company. Um, and he was, well, basically, at least from what I can understand, he was put on, <laughs> well, he, he either got injured from work, I don't know the entire uh, story behind it, but essentially he was no longer working. And according to some, um, you know, some Dallas County court documents, uh, he was, uh, you know, actually, I'll, I will just show you guys to make it a lot easier. 
Uh, about, well, <laughs> back in 2004, he made uh, some, uh, you know, chart interesting claims against a, <clears throat> uh, against an employer <clears throat> that uh, he put up a, a YouTube video for, uh, according to this, um, uh, this article. Yes, I know it is dark journalist. Yes, I know I have shit on him before. Um, I'm just going to turn off chat here. All contacts. And I'm just going to hide that to make that a little bit easier. All right, sidebar. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I have shit on him a lot, but, you know, he has done a lot of investigative work in this. And when I had shit on him, uh, well, I kind of accidentally lumped him into, well, uh, you know, the group of people who are basically calling people Satanists and whatnot, because that's fucking crazy. Um, the thing is, whatever Corey Good's saying is fucking crazy. Uh, there are no fucking blue aliens. This is all some carny pro wrestling bullshit. Uh, anybody who believes it is essentially, well, well, what pro wrestling would term a fucking mark. Um, yeah, it's a carny term. Originally, pro wrestling was a business where they faked actual sporting events, uh, claiming to be you know legitimate contests, uh, you know fights between people. Well, it was all staged. It was all predetermined. Um, with, you know, theatrics, uh, athle or theatrical athletics. And it wasn't until, you know, the 90s when WWE finally said, well, you know, we can make more money off of this if we actually just uh, take the entire claiming to be real side of the business away and just make it entertainment. And they even, well, <laughs> they even rebranded themselves World Wrestling Entertainment because, you know, pro wrestling had the connotation of, of being carny. They wanted it to be legitimate. Most of our industry, I should say, most of the field that I'm in when it comes to a lot of this, and again, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, lump everyone in there. It's it's very hard to be able to parse who's real and who's just kind of full of shit a lot of the time. Big radio shows like, you know, th that deal with this, and I'm going to name Coast to Coast because they are the number one show. A lot of the times you're going to have people, and if you listen to any of the archives going back, way back to like when Art Bell was, you know, still doing it in the early days, you would have some crazy guests making very wild accusations and they would claim a lot of proof. Um, obviously at that time, you know, it was very hard to be able to get this proof online and <laughs> uh, the type of information that we have nowadays, it, it was unheard of, uh, that was accessible online. Um, well, it was very hard to be able to, to, to back up a lot of these claims, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, a lot of it was, you know, a lot of it was probably bullshit. I don't know for sure. I'm not going to lump anybody in there. A lot of the ancient history stuff, at least for the guys that we've had on this show, um, for Den of Lore, I've tried to vet them as best as possible. And I've tried to, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's interesting when you're dealing with history because history, you're dealing with things that happened thousands of years ago and nobody was alive then. Um, you can make theories as long as you can somewhat logic and say, okay, this is a possible, this is a possible way of looking at that situation back then. If you're dealing with the now and even, you know, the recent future, it's very difficult to make claims when you have a whistleblower that comes forward and says, oh, I had X, Y, Z happen, like such as, um, I was, a you know, ha have been part of a secret space program that has saw me, you know, time travel or go to Mars or some shit like that. It's like, you know, and if there's no proof, you know, it, you can try and reconstruct a theory in ancient history. When it comes to UFO, UFO, UFOlogy, there is no proof. Hi, roses. Um, a lot of the time there is corroborating evidence. There are, you know, this testimony, which is the lowest form of evidence when it comes to any type of, uh, scientific, um, you know, scientific explanation for something. And I'm not saying that UFOs are not real. I've seen UFOs myself up close. I've seen, you know, orange uh, glowing orbs. I've seen, um, <laughs> you know, I, I've, I've seen a triangle craft from, from fairly way up with binoculars. And, um, you know, I've seen discs in the light of day hanging over, power out or power lines. Like I, I know the phenomenon is real because I've seen it firsthand. I'm not claiming that the government is denying it, even though there is some type of phenomenon. Yes, that is, that is mostly geopolitical in terms of, um, the government being able to, to, to claim without a shadow of a doubt that, that it can protect its, its, uh, its airspace. And, you know, for, from a, a, a sociological standpoint, yeah. If the government comes out and says, Hey, by the way, there are aliens, they're real, um, and uh, we can't do anything about it because they're so goddamn advanced that, uh, uh, you know, 
you know, like they, they can they, they can do things like shut down nuclear si- uh, uh, nuclear missiles in silos, for instance. This is some scary ass shit. Um, you know, like uh, we're talking on the level of potentially at worst case, like Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome meets the road as far as civilization breaking down. That's the major fear. That's what they're trying to be able to stop if that actually happens, uh, which is why they're probably denying it. The level of, of cover up, I honestly don't know. I, I, you know, people will claim a lot of shit. And the thing is, you can't tell the difference. Um, it's got to the point now in this industry when it comes to this, this, what has ter- come become a cottage industry. Uh, you can't, you can't w- definitively doubt. You have to take things on faith and either you believe or you don't believe the idea of, I want to believe in something, you know, that, that X files adage of, uh, UFOs. They want to believe that the, the UFOs are real. Okay. Well, I believe that they are real because I've seen them firsthand. I wasn't hallucinating. Uh, very hard to believe that something's real when you can actually experience it firsthand. I don't know any other claim beyond that. What I do know is that there are some interesting documents out about Corey Good that have been released by Dark Journalist, which essentially makes some, well, uh, <laughs> claims that the man is willing to fabricate evidence to, well, I'd be, make people take his side on shit. Uh, some like I'm, I'm speaking from a, uh, from a personal perspective. This is some psychopathic type shit here. Um, I've, I have friends who've had uh, girlfriends who have done shit like that to try and get friends of theirs on their side or the police involved. If, uh, you know, if, if some shit went down and, or they were just fucking pissed off that let's say he wanted to go out with his friends. It, like, <sighs> this is this is antisocial behavior <laughs> like this is what some people would term or claim to be border borderline personality disorder how the fuck can i believe somebody who's got a restraining order because they apparently you know fabricated some evidence um in addition to that you know doing stuff like <laughs> bringing this up doing some passive aggressive uh you know, threatening shit because people are disagreeing with him so that he's going to, uh, <laughs> say that you're very passive aggressive, like, Oh, we're not, th- you know, I'm not threatening, but by the, but you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the Alliance may do something with them once they eliminate this. And it's like, you know what, Corey, suck a fucking dick, man. Like suck a fucking dick. I don't give a shit who the fuck, you know, I don't give a fuck. Who's your friend. What, like what conferences you go to and what guests may or may not come onto my show based on me saying this, this is, this, this is some fucking crazy ass shit. You're, you're fucking throwing here, man. Like I, I live in the real fucking world and you're throwing around this dipsy doodle fucking pro wrestling bullshit. Like suck a fucking dick, man. Seriously. Like get, get over yourself. Um, you're, you're at the point now probably where you're so deep in, into this fucking shit that you're, you have to double down <laughs> rather than just come clean and say, yeah, man, I made it all up because you're, you know, and, and at this point, you know, you're, you're on Gaia, you're, you know, you're running top ratings on fade to black and coast to coast. If you say you're, it's, it's, it's a fucking lie. You're hurting those people as well. And I know how J- hard Jimmy works and like it, it, he, the, the man's the, one of the best radio hosts on the fucking air today. Um, bar none. It's, you know, this, this shit that you're pulling is hurting him and hurting, you know, uh, Nori's show and hurting, uh, whatever the fuck guy is trying to do with, you know, going from, from yoga into this existential bullshit that they're trying to pull and with, with their Nazca mummy fakery, <laughs> like, like, man, you're this, this is the type of psychopathic bullshit that people that we're told to fucking fight against. And you're pulling this off. Um, I don't know who the, like who the fuck you think you are or, and obviously you've got, untold tens of thousands of people around the world who are buying into it because they're trying to find somebody to blame because their own lives are so fucked up probably. And they're dealing with like the government who is <laughs> basically tax them into the ground and is lying to them nonstop and can't, can't, you know, save a country to, to, to fucking save their lives. And you're, you're trying to force this entire, um, the, the real enemy is some dark cabal that you can't name. And oh, by the way, you're, you know, this, this great savior that would normally be considered God in any other religion is our, our blue fucking aliens. And oh, by the way, um, come, come to my talk and oh, by the way, go, go support the, support the sphere being Alliance on, on the store. Like it, can, is, is buying a hat on your store going to fucking put some space fuel in the fucking spaceships? Like I, I'm, I'm like, I can't keep silent on this insanity. 
because it's just it's getting to a point now where I'm talking to people online and they're they're throwing this whole peace and love bullshit like peace and love. How about fucking you? No. Um, if you want to believe and like be absolutely flat out delusional, uh, you know, and, and willfully give up your your rational mind for some fucking fantasy, then go right the fuck ahead. Don't watch my show. I don't fucking care um, because we're here to learn some cool shit, not feed your fucking fantasy. I'm and I'm not saying that in a mean way. I'm saying that to be able to kind of give you a smack upside the head because you're fucking being lied to nonstop about this uh, because it's entertainment. And th the executives who, who are up above these large uh, and even even people in the business will say, oh, man, it's just, you know, it's just show business. They should be smart enough to be able to know for yourselves. Unfortunately, as we all know, and as we talked on last night's show and as I talk on this show constantly. Individuals can be very intelligent, but those people who want to belong to something are willing to give up their rational minds because, well, people in general are kind of dumb as shit. Even myself, I'm, I'm, I've been known to be fooled by stuff. <laughs> people, I know people who, the smartest individuals, uh, you know, people who are full-on scientists who maybe believe in flat earth theory or may believe that the world is, you know, 6,000 years old. Um, people are going to believe, you know, human humanity as a whole is, is not meant to deal with and rationalize on a biological level the level of advancement that we have as a society and technologically we were we were originally hunter gatherers we grew up on you know some plane somewhere hunting wild beasts uh the level of complexity and having to figure shit out and the, the amount of information we would have to sift through to actually get to the truth on a lot of issues that we deal with is is next to impossible we have to take a lot of things based on faith and and use critical thinking and logic to try and approximate approximate the best way uh, to, to see whether something is believable or not. And, you know, a lot of the times people just don't do it because we're so goddamn busy or we're depressed about shit that we're dealing with in our lives. And, you know, for anybody who believes in the sphere of being alliance bullshit or giving money to, 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 to Wilcock, who's, you know, writing about this shit now, you're, you're, you're wasting your fucking time. And I'm not going to go through and try and prove a lot of bullshit here because it's, it's, <laughs> I got, I got shit to do. I'm just, I'm fucking ranting here. Um, but at the end of the day, just get your heads out of your fucking asses and grow the fuck up. You're not five years old. This is not fucking WWE Saturday, you know, uh, Saturday morning main event. Uh, Corey Good is not fucking Hulk Hogan. And, uh, you know, whomever the heel was that, that he was um, uh, politicking behind uh, backstage to, to get, to get over on, even though he couldn't, couldn't do a goddamn leg drop uh, to save his goddamn life. Uh, you know, he's there. That isn't some some large fucking cabal out there or dark alliance that is fighting some space war. Corey Good is not a fucking time traveler and this shit doesn't exist yet. Or if it does, it's so far into the black budget that the people who are working on it have been sworn to secrecy. And if you're taking that type of oath, you're 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 not going to like you're a patriot. You're not going to fucking say anything. It it it, it like it, it defies logic. It is bad science fiction. And you're believing it like if you if if you do not believe that that there are some people in government or scientists are actually telling the truth, but you're believing some science fiction bullshit, you really need to actually look at your lives and, and realize what's what's important, because that's pretty much the definition of a fucking cult. Your congratulations, you're you're becoming heaven's gate. <laughs> like I've seen cult like behavior. I have friends who have escaped from cults. This is a fucking getting to the point where it's a fucking cult. Um and it's like for, for me as somebody who believes in uh, running that, that thin razor between rational thinking and, and, you know, open-mindedness, I'm, I've critically thought through it. I've, it, I've completely rejected it. It has all the fucking hallmarks of a cult and Corey Good's looking to have all the hallmarks from my opinion as a cult leader. Do the research yourself and look into what that actually means. And maybe you'll start to actually understand <laughs> you know, you start to understand um, uh, the, the hallmark signs of, of, of you being manipulated. <laughs> uh, I, ca I can go and, and do it one by one, but I'm actually going to challenge you to do it yourself. Look for the information and read up on it because like I'm, I'm, I'm done having to having long standing debates online with people about, uh, you know, theories with flat earth or in this, and usually they're one in the same for, for whatever reason. Again, 
these this is the same uh, usually these are the same groups of people who also believe that well Trump didn't possibly do some allegedly some legal shit dealing with international powers to get into office and I'm I'm sorry people it's probably fucking true and as somebody who understands uh, geopolitics, especially dealing with the Eastern Bloc, especially dealing uh, with Cold War powers. Yeah, it, you know, like, I, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm probably saying it probably fucking happened and all the hallmark signs are there. Um, it doesn't make any sense for, it doesn't make any sense other, any, any other, any other way. It doesn't make any other sense. Again, that, that's just, that's my belief and I could fucking go on another two or three hour rant, but the people who are believing that are usually believing this thing as well. I'm noticing there is a certain, um, there are certain signs or certain characteristics with individuals in terms of their ability to just take anything at face value. And if it sounds good, it sounds plausible, or if it's a very wildly fantastical claim, but it makes them feel good, they're just going to go along with it. And it's like, at this point in time, this shit's... Oh no, uh, Angel, yes, I do believe in, in ETs, but I'm, I'm a, like... Um, like I'm, I'm a very rational person. I do have my own theories with, with you know, in, in, in terms of possibly dealing with, with interdimensionality, but uh, you know, it, and even it could, you know, it, it could just be actually we're being visited by people from, from who are very well advanced. And it, I think it's a possibility. I've seen the phenomenon myself. That is one theory. I'm not going to say it a hundred percent because I don't know at the end of the day, I do not know. And that's the whole point of this. People are taking shit on faith and, I'm, I'm just fucking done dealing with it. As I said, like, this is fuck this shit. Like, fuck all this crazy shit. I'm not going to do this with this show and I'm not going to do this with this channel. And, you know, I can't reason with people who are fanatics. You can't. You cannot deal with fanatics. The more you fight them, the more that they are just going to get ingrained in their own ideology. This is a psychological proven fact. Um, the only thing that you can do, like, again, I'm not a... <laughs> the only thing you can really do is to ridicule the fuck out of, out of the idea and make fun of it as much as you can until people start realizing, well, why are these people making fun of me? Because you're, you're acting fucking crazy. <laughs> That's why. So I, you know, I, my mind and my logic completely rejects this, this fantasy of cosmic disclosure. The idea of disclosure is very plausible. Um, I'm a rationalist in terms of, you know, Stephen Bassett having very valid points and I'm not saying, okay, well, I'm endorsing Stephen Bassett. I'm saying, no, like this is, this is his, his form of disclosure, what has been um, taught from a very political and scientific um, uh, facet is, is, is entrenched and based in the real world where cosmic disclosure is fucking star Wars. Uh, there's no, there's like, there's no corroborating proof. There's nothing to it. And like, uh, until somebody brings me the, the body of a goddamn dead blue avian, I'm fucking calling 100% bullshit and I will call 100% bullshit and I will not discuss it on the show. I will not entertain the thoughts of it. It is, it is as crazy as a fucking theory is flat earth to me. And the flat earthers are along the same lines. They're like, Oh, the earth. And it's, if you, if you look at go like, go watch Eddie Bravo on, on, on Joe Rogan experience. Like I can't fucking stress this enough. Um, and you know, as I mentioned before, like if this is, this is what I have on screen and what I, I have uh, is written was put up by, you know, by Corey Good and his people. Um, and this is, he you only, know, this is, as a writer, I can, I can tell passive aggressiveness and I can, uh, you know, I, I can tell some, some, somebody trying to uh, non-threateningly th threaten people and it's not directed towards me in, in, in particular. It, I'm guessing it's probably directed towards dark journalist, but, you know, I can't, I can't deal with when shit, when it gets to this point, you have to stand up and you have to say something. And for me, it's usually with saying something at the end of a very long rant. Uh, evening, Eddie, how you doing? So, you know, and I'm, I'm going to plead for love of God, Jimmy, if you listen to this, if, and I know we're tw like 25 minutes in Jimmy, if you're listening to this, like, I know that your bread and butter is built off of this, you know, built off of this. And you've had many, many, many individuals that I've gotten to know myself and who have very valid points. But dude, like you're, you're getting to the point of, of like, it's, you're, you're losing it, man. <laughs> when it comes to that, uh, I know Corey's your friend, 
but he's leading you down a path that's that like it's not like it doesn't make you look good. And I know a lot of people who have been talking to me about like talking to me about this. People who listen to my show who say I can't listen to Fade to Black anymore because of the Corey Good fucking bullshit. And I'm pleading with you, man, because I love you. I love you to death, brother. Fucking drop this shit, man. Like it's your credibility. If if you care about the entertainment aspect and you're going for the top, go for it and like you know, become the next Vince McMahon, but you got to put a disclaimer on it because we're getting to the point in time with society where this entire, (laughs) this entire, um, feeding people a line and feeding bullshit, like people, you know, like you're, you're going to have your, your, your people who are just going to feed it and they'll, they'll feed money to you. They'll get, they'll get the subscriptions or maybe they just want the entertainment from it. But the vast majority of people out there, man, they just don't like, (laughs) you know, we're starting, it's like with pro wrestling, they'll, this, you'll have smarks you'll have the marks will become smarks people who will un- understand that it's all for show or for the most part, or a lot of it is for show. And they're just going to want to be entertained with a smile and a wink. And they'll be in on the, pl- on the game. But and, you know, theories are theories, but this entire fucking thing, like this is, you know, we're like, we're dealing with real life here and this is getting to a point now where, you know, they're, they're back. Like <laughs> they're, they're fucking passive aggressive threats being made. And, there's a very good chance that the man is he's being found out to be somebody who fabricates evidence. And that is not good for credibility. And, you know, like I've worked with you a shit ton for John Anthony West and I like have nothing but respect for you. And I, I say this out of, out of place of actual love and concern that I'm, (laughs) I don't see this ending very well in terms of credibility and in terms of integrity. It is not, and it is, it is not, somebody of integrity does not stand shoulder to shoulder with somebody and say, I, I support this person 110% when the person has, is, is basically fucking running, you know, what some people will call a cult and, and has fucking is writing shit on their website like this. It's not good. It's not good. And I can't, I can't fucking stand it anymore. I almost shut this show down, shut this channel down and said, fuck all this shit last week because I just, I can't deal with the crazy. And you know, it's either I can completely ignore it and do the, you know, fully rational thing, but I fucking built this show to be fun. I want this to be fun. I want to have fun interviewing people about stuff. And I want no angel. There is no fucking, you know, it's not a psyop. It's about fucking people making money. They want to make money. They want people who are gullible as fuck to give them money because they're going to give them some fantastical feel good bullshit. Angel. Like, this is real. Like I'm not, you know, there's a lot of people who are going to go with this whole existential fucking spiritual bullshit. And I'm great with spiritual stuff. And I'm always willing to be a theory. Like it's a fucking business. First and foremost, the executives only care about the fucking money. That's what it is. This is show business. It's a, you look at anything in terms of Hollywood and, and any show you have, you've heard about, (laughs) <laughs> or even like, just look at like watch entourage in terms of how, how people are about, you know, about show business. It's the same fucking thing. It's dog eat dog. Fuck, you know, fuck your own mother over to make a nickel. Uh, no scruples, lie, cheat and steal to, to, to get to the top and acquire as much wealth as humanly possible. That's show business. It's the same thing. Except you're dealing with individuals instead of you're going to, you know, you're buying tickets for a fucking movie, but the movie is being passed off as real life. That's what this is. And that's what a lot of these, you know, spiritual cosmic disclosure shit is. So yes, Angel, that's what I'm saying. They're fucking con artists. That's the whole point. It's pro wrestling. This is carny level shit. And, you know, a lot of shows will try and be serious about it, but that's a sense. I'm breaking what's called breaking kayfabe. I'm, I'm exposing the business because I'm sick and tired of it. And I'm like, I don't care who fucking doesn't want to talk to me. I don't care who fucking blocks me on Facebook or blocks me on Twitter. Cause, but yes, angel, if you're talking in chat, it is, that is exactly what's happening. And I know that there are a lot of people who, and it, at the top level, yeah, that's pretty well what it is. Um, it's the same thing with religion. When it comes to spirituality, there's a lot that cannot be explained. And I'm going to say that outright. There's a lot that cannot be explained. I do not know hundred percent if ESP is real. I'm going to tend towards. Yeah, probably. I do believe that energies do have something to do with it, but nobody out there can claim with hundred percent that they have the answer. Anybody who does and says I'm 100% right. I have the answer is, is trying to fucking is trying to hook you or they're delusional themselves. 
it's with anything. You look at like uh, re- like organized religions, uh, cults, politicians who claimed all you know. It, it's all the same. It's all the same. Trying to override your logic to get you to buy into something, to get you to believe in something when it may not actually be real, or or maybe they actually the people themselves are deluded themselves and believe it real, but they don't know for sure. You know, there is always going to be that doubt. Um, so. <laughs> You know, it, it's it, it's a dangerous fucking game, and I'm I don't give a shit if I'm exposing the business. Like I want people to come here and know that I, I that me Chris George Zuger is somebody. If I'm talking to you about something, I'm not trying to fucking blow smoke up your ass. And that if people are giving me, you know, I'm like a hundred dollars on on <laughs> you know on uh, on Patreon or through through our uh, you know through our Facebook page or 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 whatever, that at least they know that I'm not trying to, to fool them into giving, giving them that money. I have a fucking conscience. I do. I, do. <laughs> I have a fucking conscience. Like, my cat right here um, is, you know, she's my, she's my boss. She's my, my anchor. She, she's the one that lets me know when I'm, I'm, <laughs> when I'm uh, uh, stretching too far. And it's, you know, I just can't, I can't live that lie. I can't be that person. I can't play the game. I've never been able to. I'm not doing this out of. I'm not doing this out of malicious reasons. I f- like, I, I, I want the best for everybody. Um, I, I should say, I do not wish badly upon anybody. And I, I'd like for people who are actually genuinely good people to do well, because that's, that's, that's good karma. You know, you, you put good in, you hope, you hope to get good back. So me doing this is, is, it, it's it's a conscience thing and it's a being um being honest thing because that's the type of person that I am that's how my mother raised me that's that's one of the reasons why my life my wife loves me so much and yeah like uh, i just i just can't fucking deal with this anymore <laughs> i can't deal with it anymore so you know, like i'll even show you this i've got on youtube Tons of. I'll leave that. When you're dealing with things like YouTube, for instance, we get like all of our notifications. That's, I'm trying to upload with that. No, not uploading. <clears throat> I get tons of notifications uh, f- for just you know channels that I I talk on, and you know there are some channels where people are. And I actually, when it comes to people like this, I actually think it's just Corey Good with a fake account commenting, because I, I honestly don't think, and sometimes it isn't, but I've, I've, you know, had long conversations with people before about this type of stuff, and trying to convince them otherwise. If I can show you here, trying to convince them otherwise, and you can you can get into long standing conversations with people who just really believe and you're trying to you trying to rationalize with crazy people a lot of the time and it's it's no it's no good because there's nothing you can do to be able to convince them otherwise um so you know i'm i'm just going to say it out right now like i'm i i i can't speak badly about Jimmy or Fade to Black. I've grown up, you know, I'm not grown up, I grew, I grew up listening to Coast to Coast. For the last several years, I've watched Fade to Black. I've watched Jimmy ch- turn his show from a small operation into one of the top, if not, you know, the top um, radio show for, for our subject matter on the planet. Uh, you know, f- with with the youngest and most rabid uh, fan base. I, I respect that to, to all, you know, to, to hear him back and to him as, as a professional, as an, as an entertainer, as some, as an entrepreneur, like nothing but respect. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm commenting on the actual industry itself. And yeah, I'm just, you know, I can't, I can't, um, I can't deal with it anymore. It, you know, John, I honestly don't know. Like John's a, John's a journalist. And I honestly don't know which, like, I, I can't say on John. I'm saying, like, as, an, as a whole, this industry, it tend, and I'm, I'm talking to, to Lee in chat, the industry as a whole lends towards people thinking that they've got a story and they're going to come in and make some quick, make a name for themselves, make a quick buck. Um, you know, then you've got people like Robert Bavall, Graham Hancock, Randall Carlson, uh, Laird Scranton, Robert Schock, um, you know, Brian Forrester, 
you know, the list goes on and on and on. People have been in the industry for, a, you know, in the industry because this is this is where they've been able to find a home in terms of getting the word out. And they've gone out into the field and they've spent decades researching their subject matter. And they have so much work and they've they've gone after and faced down um, the, you know, as, as John, John Anthony West, especially. God, John Anthony West, especially, you know, they faced down the the quackademics and said, no, you have to listen to this alternative theory, but they back it up. And people, you know, people on the Corey Good line don't fucking back it up with actual evidence. You need out, outrageous claims, need outrageous amounts of good evidence. And if it's not there, then you can make all the claims you want, but... <sighs> I'm still going to, I'm going to, I'm going to call fucking bullshit and not call bullshit. It is bullshit to my, in my opinion. Um, again, there's always that sliver of chance and I have to be, I have to be careful that he can't lobby some, some, you know, everything on this is my fucking, um, but I can't, you know, <laughs> he's even at, like at this point, he's threatened for his critics. He's threatened to sue them. He's threatened to do all this shit. It's like, man, I'm commenting on other people's work. And I'm giving my own opinion on it. Uh, I got no money. <laughs> uh, the most you can do is, is I would take it and say, well, that's you know, that I represent, I would represent myself in court and then I would fucking declare bankruptcy. You wouldn't get a goddamn dime. And then I would, you know, like you're, it'd, it'd be fucking basically harassment to get your own goddamn way, like a goddamn psychopath. So cool your fucking jets and bring some fucking proof maybe. And stop this cult like bullshit that I, at least in my opinion is. And then maybe then you can actually do so. But at this point, it's, it's, it's entertainment. It's a show to me. <clears throat> and, you know, if, and, you know, like there, there's comments right now in chat that, yeah, the waters are muddy. Yeah, the waters are very muddy. And that's the whole point. The, the, the muddier the waters, the more shit can slip underneath. And you know, what you think is a, uh, uh, a lily pad is actually a goddamn crocodile. Uh, you know, there was a lot of talk back in May about needing the rational approach towards ufology. And, you know, MUFON, for instance, bringing Corey Good uh, as, as a guest speaker. And they're like, well, we'll bring him in here and people can, can judge for themselves. If that's what they, they did it for that reason, basically as, as a reason for, <coughs> as a chance for them to, to, to have... Um, you know, for people to be able to see firsthand exactly that he's full of shit, then I'm all power to them. Then fucking don't do it again. <laughs> uh, Cause move on supposed to be the rational minded ones. But in even that, if they have gone over to that side of, well, this is more for entertainment and we want to make some money, then yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with people like Michael Huntington, who will be like, you can't do that. It's, it's time to stop this shit. We need something fucking credible to actually find the real fucking truth about what UFOs are, because there's so much, there was so much noise from truth to absolute fucking fiction beyond belief that we don't know which way is up anymore. And it's just, it's not fucking right. And there's too many people making a lot of money with a lot of fakery and bullshit. And it's, it's not fucking right. It's not honest. It's not ethical. And from somebody who's an, ex an actual fucking experiencer, uh, I believe that we do need to have some truth and shows like coast to coast and shows like fade to black are essential because they have a wide audience. And there is so much truth and so much validity for the guests that they've had on there that you can't stop doing it. But the, the, the jumping on to fanatical cult like bandwagons with people who are going to make outrageous claims and pretend to be space Jesus aren't, is not, is not a good way to, to go about doing it. And I know that some people will say it's a necessary evil. You need to get the ratings to make, to, to have the audience to uh, make the ad revenue to, to make, to pay the bills, to keep the show going. That's all well and good, but when it becomes a crusade and talk of criticism cannot be, be, be made actual criticism cannot be made to the point where it's, it's glossed over. And even from a, a, a rational standpoint, there's, you know, it's talked about negativity, discussing, <laughs> <laughs> criticizing things rationally is not fucking negativity. It's called being, it, it, it's called being objective. It's, or at least trying to, trying to be rational about things and trying to have discussion about it. It's not fucking being negative. I'm, I'm going to disagree with you on that. And I'm saying that with all due respect, uh, Jimmy, 
but it's the if if you're going to silence the critics and, and stand behind Corey, and man, it's that dude, man. That's like I'm, I'm, you know, like I understand why you're doing it, and I respect you full well for 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 you know sticking to your guns, man. I I'm going to have to disagree, and it doesn't change my res, uh, my opinion of you any way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's, it's just. It's like, man, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Um, it's, you know, I'm not going to say like, oh, I can't, I can't talk to you about this or that. And, you know, if it change, if my opinions change your opinion about me, then, then so fucking be it. I'm going to keep acting the same way to you as I would. I'm still going to have the same glee and joy listening to Fade to Black as I always will, will, but I know, but know that I'm doing it from a, from a place of, I know it's, it's fu- basically I'm watching Monday Night Raw and it's entertainment. Um, I can't do anything beyond that and I can't comment on anything beyond that based around just purely based around the fact that well <laughs> there's uh, you know it's 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 backing up somebody who's the essentially well <laughs> essentially and could very well be a goddamn complete fraud i can't you know so i'm, I'm hoping i'm trying to get everyone else around there that that it listens to this you know that um that's that's the way I see it. Like I haven't prepared anything. I don't prepare most of my shows because at least it, it lends towards uh, honesty and and coming from here. But that's pretty much it. I'm starting I'm starting to ramble at this point. Um, yeah, take it for what it is. <clears throat> take it for what it is, guys and girls and and others. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it at that. You know. Uh, let, let, let the hate mail commence. Um, by the way, if, if anybody who is, uh, you know, is, and I'm, I'm going to flat out be honest with you and I'm going to give you a prediction commenters who will come in afterwards and say, Oh, sphere, big alliance, this, and trying to talk up Corey good. I'm just going to, f- I'm just going to fucking ridicule you in the chat as I always do to any troll. And I'm just going to ridicule you publicly. Uh, that is a promise. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to suggest that you seek help and I'm going to suggest that you, continue whatever medical um, assisted treatment that you ha- should be following. If you are going to believe and believe full well in this and come on to this show and say, no, you should be believing in Corey good and the blue avians are real. Cause at that point you're fucking delusional. I, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. So it, expect that. I'm just saying it right. Frat flat out right now from, from one, from one guy to, to another uh, or one guy to another fan as it were. So, yeah, I'll, I'm going to go to the chat room and just thank who else we have on here. So we've got Roses, Craig's come back in. Thank you very much. Uh, Lunar Sparkles, um, awesome for joining us. Thank you again. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, Craig, AB, all you guys, um, <sighs> you guys coming into the show, you guys coming in and, and, and seeing things the way I do is why I keep doing it. And I know, or at least the encouragement, I'm, I'm going to say, even if we disagree on stuff, it's the encouragement and the fact that I at least try and keep things as open as possible to discussion. Um, and at least having it as an honest discussion. So, uh, for all you guys who actually did join me at like three o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday afternoon, oh, We'll, we'll continue this discussion in chat or in Facebook or, you know, on, on the show on Monday and then Thursday. And then the, that's the last one. Then Friday after that and every Friday on until next summer and then onwards and onwards. So we'll see how far we can go. We're going to do this our way. And as Jimmy said, I'm never going to fucking change the person that I am or the way that I do things or how I see things or calling things the way that I see it. This is, this has been how I've built this community from the ground up and I will never fucking stop doing that. Um, and I, for a while there, you know, I had, you know, we did have a, you know, we did have a fun month and I'm still going to do the fun shows, but I'm going to be doing it from a standpoint of having fun. And I'm always going to respect the guests that come on the show flat out. Even if I disagree with somebody, I'm not going to call somebody and say that they're, you know, full of shit, or I believe that they're full of shit because it just doesn't make any sense. It's not fair. Um, and at the end of the day, a lot of these, the people that I've brought onto the show, as I said, they're people whom I've respect. I wouldn't have somebody on here that I didn't know and 
there is not some validity to their arguments, and I would not think that it is not something that people will get something out of. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's, uh, you know, like we're all trying to have fun here. We're all trying to, like, we're all trying to learn some cool shit and, and, uh, you know, and, and have a good time. Uh, and sometimes it is with a wink and sometimes there is some seriousness and I'm obviously going to infer full well, <laughs> whether, <laughs> whether that is the case as best as possible. Uh, but I'm going to be a straight shooter about it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. And I can't, um, <laughs> it's not what I am. It's not who I am. So take it for what it is. It's 45 minute rant people. Um, Probably some of it went around in circles. Uh, I probably should have not skipped lunch. But um, that's it. Uh, do I have the music still going? Fuck it, I'll replay the music. There we go. And I know I'm going to get in some shit for this. Probably get uh, talking to by some people. But, you know, that's all good. Maybe they can understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, I gotta refill this vape. Maybe it's actually plugged up for the coil. Quitting smoking. It's a hell of a thing, ladies and gents. Until Thursday, or Monday next week, I'm gonna wish you all adieu. Thank you for the support. Uh, I'm gonna thank our patrons, if I can. Probably should've done that right off the bat. you think I'd be able to know this at this point. Because like even though like our 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 our, our patrons, I, I know them all personally. Almost at this point, like we talk regularly. They're the, they're internet friends. They're the ones that have believe in me um, and believe in what we're doing, and they support the show. Like they they literally help me keep the show on the air, and they're the ones that I I do this entire production for every single week. Um, I think we only missed one show out of the entire. And that was like last week, and that was because I was on vacation. <laughs> and we've we've we have not missed a week since then. Um, so, you know, to like at, Atlantic Kush, to to G, uh, Dean, to Ellen McCurdy, uh, Jared Thompson, Joshua uh, Maddock, Kevin Fothy, Venice from Magical Egypt, Mark Catalano, uh, Mike Lekoff, Roses, who's in chat. Thank you for finally joining us for for a live show. Sentient, uh, Mrs. Uh, Fox, Wayne, um, and uh, Hobby. Uh, who is a, a PayPal subscriber uh, through uh, denoflord.com forward slash support. Um, I do this show for you guys every single week. This is why I do it. And I'm, I'm not going to stop doing it the way that I've been doing it because this is why you guys love me. And that's it. Thank you for listening to this Hangover Rant or The Hangover. You also have to understand it, it is a play on words. I'm not always hungover. I actually was not. I paced myself last night. I'm just tired and really hungry and kind of stressed out about stuff so at the end of the day <clears throat> the hangover is carrying over subjects from the last show that's that's the joke and because it's a scotch themed uh <laughs> scotch themed channel in terms of how we do things drink scotch find atlantis it's kind of funny um i thought i was being smart so <laughs> that's your explanation for that all right, have a good afternoon, everybody. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday.